Welcome to the Carmelite Quotes Podcast, where we share Carmelite wisdom to encourage and inspire. In today's episode, we delve into the profound words of St. Elizabeth of the Trinity, a 19th century discalced Carmelite nun from Dijon, France. St. Elizabeth, born Elizabeth Cate, entered the Carmelite monastery at the age of 21, where she lived a life of deep prayer and contemplation until her death at the age of 26. Known as the praise of glory, Elizabeth had a profound spirituality that was centered on the indwelling of the Holy Trinity in the human soul. At the end of her life, St. Elizabeth often referred to the Virgin Mary as Yanuacheli, or Gate of Heaven, recognizing Mary's pivotal role in bringing souls closer to God. This title reflects Elizabeth's deep devotion to Mary and her belief in the Virgin's intercession and maternal care for all who seek refuge in her. Today's quote is sourced from letter 232 to Abbe Chevignard, written around the 25th of June in 1905. In it, Elizabeth expresses her unity with Abbe Chevignard's soul as he approaches his ordination, marveling at the love of God and exhorting him to embrace his calling with joy and gratitude. St. Elizabeth encourages this new priest to sing his own Magnificat with the Virgin and to leap for joy in God his Savior. She writes, The Almighty is doing great things in you, and his mercy is eternal. Then, like Mary, keep all that in your heart. Draw your heart very close to hers. For this priestly virgin is also the mother of divine grace, and in her love she wants to prepare you to become that faithful priest who is entirely according to God's heart. The Collected Letters of St. Elizabeth of the Trinity are published by ICS Publications in Washington, D.C. You can purchase the book of her collected letters, often at a discount, from icspublications.org. That's icspublications.org. As we conclude today's episode, I invite you to subscribe to the Carmelite Quotes podcast on Spotify, which will soon be available on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and other platforms. You can explore more inspiring quotes from St. Elizabeth of the Trinity, as well as other Carmelite saints and authors, on the Carmelite Quotes blog at carmelitequotes.blog. Again, that's on WordPress at carmelitequotes.blog. You can sign up to receive daily emails with the quote of the day from our Carmelite saints and authors. And now, let's reflect on these words of St. Elizabeth of the Trinity and draw close to the heart of the Virgin Mary. And may both Elizabeth and the Virgin inspire us to deepen our own relationships with God, with the indwelling Trinity in our souls. Thank you for joining us today, and remember to keep seeking the wisdom of the Carmelite tradition. Blessings from Carmel.